Hi, so this is how to use Class Kick, um, either on your iPad or on Chromebook. Um, if you do not have Class Kick as a service in um, self service, that's how we get all of our apps um, for our school district. It's where our district adds it to a specific app store and then our students can go there. Um, it looks like this and they just download it on there. But if you don't have that, no worries. You can go to Safari or um, whatever browser you have and then just type in Class Kick. And then you can click on Class Kick and let it load. Now on the teacher side, you'll click Teacher and mine's already logged in from my past ones. And it will take you to um, your home assignments page. Now our um, school purchased the pro version, but you don't necessarily need the pro version. You can just use the free version. It'll just let you um, send this out. I think there's like a maximum of 20 people you can send it out to, and then you can only have a certain amount of assignments. So the pro version lets you have multiple assignments. But um, so for their consent form, I just made a separate one and I'll send you guys the link and I added a um, the PDF into this document. So what these students are going to do um, when you assign it is they can go in and their parents can just sign it with their fingers um, on the app using the writing tool. Um, but there will be a class code. If you can see that on the very top where the B59QSC, you'll give them a class code and that's how they're gonna find this assignment. So let me go and show you how that will look. Let me write down this really quick. So if you are on the student side and instead of clicking teacher and logging into your account and you click student, it will take you to this page. And all they have to do is type in the class code for this one, it was B59QSC. And then they'll write their name and then click go. And then on your side, you'll see whatever they typed in for their name. So if you want to instruct them, like write your first and your last name, um, that'll help you organize it on your side. And then they can go through each page by clicking the arrow buttons on the bottom, making sure that they've read each part of the um, consent form. And then um, after they do that, it automatically sends it back to your side. You don't have to have them submit anything. It's just automatically on there. And that's how that works. Now, if you end up using this in your classroom and you can only get it on your iPad, I've um, done this a couple of times. I'll have my students, let's see, come back here, um, save the link by clicking the box and the arrow. And then um, at the bottom, actually I think you click like add bookmark and we'll delete everything but class kick and then click save. Now this bookmark will be added to their screen and it'll look just like an app, but when they click on it, it'll take them to this page. So that's kind of how class kick